Transformer here today. I'm going to be talking about the Toronto Blue Jays season opener. So yeah, they lost two years in a championship series, ALCS. But hopefully this year we can win the pennant. And yeah, so they played the opener. I mean, they played the Orioles in their season opener tomorrow on Monday. And uh, they're, I'm pretty sure they're home opener is on uh, April 7th. I don't, I'm not sure, April 7th or 11th, I really don't know. But, yeah, we we'll just hope that they have a good season. Again. And, yes. Blue Jays, so. Um. Yeah. So they did have a pretty good season. They beat the Orioles in the wild card last year. That was pretty cool. I watched it a lot. But we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about that they're playing the Orioles. Yes, they are playing their division rivals, the Orioles. And last time they faced each other was in spring training. But in real, real season in that awesome wild card game and I enjoyed it everyone should enjoy it and it was a good game so congratulations to the Blue Jays but yeah their season opener how are they going to win are they going to lose how good are they it's going to be the first time I'm ever watching a baseball game on the Blue Jays without Edwin and Carson Young um yeah it's going to be pretty sad seeing them not playing, but yeah! Um, Batista, that will be his last, last home run. I mean, last home open. Last season opener, I mean, as a Toronto Blue Jays. So, the first game, real game of his, uh, last, of his last season as a Toronto Blue Jay. And this is how basically he stands. Stands on his yeah, but. Yeah, hopefully he has a great season and a great game before uh, their um, season, I mean, before the their season is over, then the postseason comes around. So we're just going to hope and pray that, yeah, that they do good this year and not bad. But yeah, just hope and pray that they do have a good season opener and a good home opener. We just do not know. So, yeah. Another thing I want to say is that this year, they didn't really, they didn't really have as good as a wins that they did in April. And um, at the uh, Olympic Stadium, I did a highlight video on that. If you want to see that, it's in my playlist. So yeah, um, it's my latest video on the playlist. So yeah, or you can just search it up. Um, probably a lot more better ones, but that is just mine. So yeah, um, hopefully the Blue Jays do good, and I'm excited to see how Morales is going to do. I heard that he's a Good guy hitting home runs. Um, Kansas City has the biggest outfield. Kansas City Royals has of the okay Kauffman Stadium where the Kansas City Royals play. They have the biggest outfield in Major League Baseball MLB. So Kansas Morales hits a lot of home runs there. Now the Blue Jays Stadium was one of the best places fields for hitting home runs. So he's going to be probably hitting double, triple, quadruple. We don't know, but hopefully he does better um, than he did with the Kansas City Royals. So even though he did play with Kansas City in the ALCS two years ago, but that's the past. We don't even have, have half of those players no more. So we're just going to forget about that season. But I just hope that uh, there is more people that would actually take take um time and watch their games because 
They're losing fits. Say Caitlin. Why did I say that? that? I don't even know why I said that. But yeah. The Blue Jays. I mean, hopefully they have a good season. It starts tomorrow. I'm pretty sure some of the MLB games are all already on. And I'm, yeah. Don't know if the season already started, but the Blue Jays put the start their season. And comment down below if the Orioles is that's gonna be their first game. That would be cool. So yeah. So yeah. Hopefully that they um do good. Hopefully that they have a better season than last year and they can get to the World Series. Tomorrow is where it all starts. Everything is um the road to the World Series and yeah. May the Blue Jays rise, and I'll see you guys next time. Normally.